Hi, this is Vinod Suman. Welcome to Vinod Suman Academy video tutorial. So today we'll be talking on the Spring Boot. Uh, what is the use of Spring Boot? Why it is going to famous? And why it is going to be used by many big organizations? And how Spring Boot make the life easy for any uh, Spring developer? So first of all, uh, this Spring Boot is not the replacement of the Spring. And this is not a framework. The main purpose of the Spring Boot is to make the life easy if you want to develop something on the Spring. I will try to explain in very easy way and uh, take the guarantee after finish all the video episode, you should be able to develop your own web application within five minutes. It's so easy. Uh, Spring Boot is so easy, so interesting and very powerful. You can develop any kind of Spring application uh, in very short uh, time because it will give everything to you ready made. And uh, as, I was, as uh, having said that, uh, you can develop any web application with the help of Spring Boot. You can use that code uh, for the production also, and you can develop any Spring um, framework application with the help of the Spring Boot. So actually, it makes the life easy uh, for the uh, if you want to develop something on the uh, Spring uh, applications. So before going to deep into what is the Spring Boot, why it came in the market, what is use of it, how can, how to, how we can use that, what are the different ways to use that, let me explain the agenda of this Spring Boot uh, episodes video episodes. So in the first slide, or uh, first episode. I will try to explain uh, why the Spring Boot come in the market, even though we have already the Spring Big Framework. Then we will see uh, how to set up the Spring Boot application in the Eclipse and how to uh, maybe we help us to set up the Boot Spring applications. Then what are the other ways to set up the Spring Boot, like with the help of the Spring uh, Initializer or the CRI command line argument. And then we make uh, one small web application, um, Spring MVC. Uh, we connect in database also uh, with the help of the ORM. Then we do some uh, implement some REST in, uh, implementation with the help of the Spring Boot. And then next, uh, in, uh, or the incoming uh, videos on the Spring Boot, we will see uh, how to develop the, some small mic uh, micro services applications with the uh, help of the Spring Boot, and then uh, we see what is the Spring Acutors, and uh, um, we will try to develop some applications on the desktop of the Spring Social. So how to connect your Twitter account with the Spring Social? Everything we are going to um, uh, do in this series of the Spring Boot video. And uh, as I said that, uh, uh, why? Uh, first of all, we should try to understand. What, why this, uh, what is the use of this uh, why it come in the market, even though we had already the Spring uh, framework last two decades. So what are the use of that? So uh, before coming to the Spring Boot, we should understand what are the Spring framework. I will just take uh, two minute time to explain what is the Spring framework and what is the existence of this. Even Spring framework, how it come into the market. So uh, if you see the two days back, uh, two decades back, almost uh, 2000 or 1999, HGB was the very boom of uh, framework of the technology because it was used to call the um, enterprise applications. We can do a lot of things with the EGB. But when you start uh, uh, the work on the EGB, you will find out a lot of configurations you have to do. Configurations in the sense of you have to take care for the security, you have to take care for the many dependency transactions, uh, dependency injections, you have to take care for the database transactions, for each and everything you have to write the code. So it was not so easy. Then to overcome all these problems, Spring came in the market, almost to dec uh, decade back. And it solved a lot of things. And when it came in the market, uh, it was uh, almost 2006 time, uh, it has Spring had only the DI dependency injection, MVC, and the ORM object relationship mapping. Use the Hibernate how to connect the database, and you can change any database without much change in the code. So it was only that much. 
but uh, and, and, the, and, and, and the benefit of that, uh, it's made the life easy for any developers because all the common kind of things, logging, transaction, security, he has given the ready-made template. Just go and use the template in your job is done. You can configure your Java object dependency or how to create the Java object with the help of the dependency injections. So it was quite famous. So I'm talking in 2006. So in 2006, our spring was limited for the DI, MVC, and the OIL. When the time goes, then that spring MVC was not, if the spring was not limited for the spring MVC or the DI or ORM, it becomes a huge. Uh, it added a many technology from MVC to the cloud, social, JPA, mobile, lot of things he added, uh, OAuth, many things he added. So if you if you let me show some picture here, you see nowadays this is the uh, um, if you see this is the Spring framework today itself. So we have the Spring security, we have the Spring um, data layer, service layer, common layer. So it is it huge. So now to now to configure all those things, it is not easy job. The framework has been added our configuration has been also added and also become the complex. So today, if you want to set up on a Spring framework, you have to configure a lot of things. You have to add many depend many uh, jar dependency, uh, even though that some version problem should become, then uh, you have to take care for the many things. Uh, you, you should have your own application server, everything you should have. So this is big headache. You, you can't, in one shot, you can't develop, you can't start working on the stream framework. But if you see for any programmers, what the programmer's job should be there? Their job should be that to write the code. They should not spend the time on this kind of things. So that's why the Spring would come into the market. And before that, uh, if you see, uh, now this spring is not easy, as I said, having said that, it's very big. So it has almost all the um, um, frameworks from data to mobile to cloud, everything, template for the anything. They need the infrastructure support. So now problems start coming with the spring. The, the, the way it is becoming very big, so problem also start coming. It is a huge framework, multiple setups steps are there to set up, multiple configuration files, multiple build and debug setups. So a lot of things come with the spring when it's going to become below. So it has a uh, lot of problems. So think uh, when we develop any MVC in spring, you have to first deploy the code, it become the wall file, then take the wall file, put into the some application server, then you used to see. So, that is not possible in the if you have the multiple uh, applications, so you can manage all those things. So these are the problems have been solved by the Spring Boot, and down the session we see uh, how we can uh, um, solve these problems. So uh, first of all, uh, let me start. What is the Spring Boot, and if we start from the definition. What is the Spring Boot definitions? So this create stand around application. Means even though we are going to develop web-based application, but Spring Boot make it as a standalone. Means you you think you are going you are writing the code for the standalone, but with the web applications code. So you will just run it without thinking what is the application server, how the Tomcat. No need to start the Tomcat. No need to deploy the code. Everything just a standalone code. So uh, means. Spring Boot is connected with the building bootable applications without knowing any of the ecosystem, without knowing any of the, any of the application server. So it's just a magic. When you see the magic, you become very happy. How they make the life easy of any developers. No need to think anything about the application server. So in the, uh, this is a good uh, uh, difference. What is the difference between the self plant tool and the package tool? Means in the package tool, what happened? Uh, you will not worry about all those things. The uh, company or that uh, by which you are going, they will take care. 
the but self plan tools you have to take care everything yourself hotel booking site visiting everything food parking all those things the same way in the spring framework this is the self plan tool in spring framework spring framework you have to take care for everything what is the application server how it run what is the port number everything how to deployment package two is uh, you have the spring boot so ready made everything you can get it so in easy way we can uh, say so and think about that uh, uh, even though we have the separate video on the microservices but let me explain that my microservices what is the microservices actually why it is famous nowadays so in one project we have the many small sub modules independent autonomous sub modules they we collaborate to talk to each other in the in, in the in the microservices project you would have the many application server not think put in your project if you have the 10 microservices you have to maintain the 10 web servers and 10 tomcat you have to start all the 10 tomcat so it is so much a tedious job not easy to handle but in the case of this thing boot you can manage very easily so and uh, very interesting if you want to set up one spring boot applications it will hardly take the five minute times so in the next video uh, i'm going to show you how to do that just you have to create one maven project in the eclipse add the pom.xml just one dependency everything is done you will just get one java class you have to write two line code and your application server is ready so it's so easy and so interesting down the line if you enjoy the working of this thing boot and um, if you see uh, down the line so suppose if you develop the web application you have to just add the two dependencies no you want to add some security application also okay just add the two more lines no you want to use some jpa things okay just add the two extra two lines so it will be very easy to set up any big applications enterprise applications with the help of the spring boot so next video we will see how to set up the spring boot application in the spring uh, in the eclipse with the help of the Nagan. Uh, thank you very much and uh, please tune with this the active channel with the help of the subscribe buttons uh, thank you very much